Well, no matter where you live in the state of Texas, the piney woods of East Texas to the Rocky Mountains of the Trans-Pecos, right under our feet in the Permian Basin is the biggest story of our everyday lives. In my inaugural Powering the Permian Report, I speak with the experts on the industry and find out from the community how today's industry is impacting all of us here in the Permian Basin. This story is high energy. The economy remains strong. We're seeing consumer confidence high. You see it in people at the airport or on the highway. Travel demand is at its highest point that we've ever seen. It's something Daniel Armbruster with AAA Texas sees just as easy as the hot summer sun. And here at AAA, we anticipate that travel demand will remain strong through the summer. Today, the summer come up in fuel demand shows a small come down in pump prices. The pump prices in Dallas are a little cheaper than they are out here, but it is the oil fields, so it's expected to be a little higher. In Odessa, the current 296 average is up slightly from a week ago. Well, I mean, actually, if you go further away from the refineries, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the gas is right here. In Midland, the current average is slightly above $3. Oh, it's actually lower. It was $3.07. Dictating the price at the pump, crude oil production. An increase in crude prices usually means an increase in retail gas. Because when you break down a gallon of gas, 50% of that gallon of gas, about 50 to 60%, is going to be the cost of crude oil. Fear of federal interest rate hikes and new global cuts in crude production all provide momentum to an increase in crude price today and higher energy prices for the consumer tomorrow. So to blunt the increase and fill the gap, how will U.S. producers respond? That's a good question. You're in the Permian Basin. Sometimes your perspective is just a little bit different because of where you are and what we do. James Beauchamp is the president of the Midland Odessa Transportation Alliance. It's an organization where the goal is improving Permian infrastructure. I would say is I think prices will remain in a very, very stable area. New numbers from the Energy Information Administration showing the U.S. is on pace for record crude oil production, helping blunt foreign production cuts. You saw here just in this 12-county central Permian area, uh, that oil production went up by 72.8 million barrels a year. Amid the constant change in the global energy market, the new avenues for power, like solar and wind, at least for now. If you ask people what's powering the Permian, you'll probably get the same answer. What powers the Permian? Oh, it's always oil. Oh, the oil industry, 100%. What you, somebody asks you what's powering the Permian, what would you say? Energy. And of course, people, hopefully the first of many more to come. We continue to follow the latest of the industry running West Texas every Wednesday right here on ABC Big 2 News. You can check out this report later tonight online, and you can also see the previous ones that we've done just by going to the Powering the Permian Reports tab.